Hey there everyone, I'm meteorologist Bill Kelly. What we're gonna do right now, we have an active tornado warning that is in our area, but I know a lot of you are obviously watching the game right now. If you want to continue to hear the information about this warning and watch the game in the corner, you can do that. If you want to watch the game in its entirety and not be concerned about the warning, we are putting this game as we speak on CW uh, Philly 57. It is on CW Philly 57. You can go over there and watch it. If you want the weather information without the game, we are streaming on CBS News Philadelphia. So we have all three ways to get you the information in terms of CBS News Channel 3 right now. What we're going to do is talk about this tornado warning and leave the game on off to the side. Again, it is in full CBS uh, CW you, Philly 57. You. If you live in an apartment and you live on an upper floor, and I'm not talking about a, a large, you know, building like you'd, you'd find in the city of Philadelphia. I'm talking just, you know, an average apartment, maybe two floors, three floors, something like that. A wood structure, not brick. You want to call your neighbors and say, hey, we need to come down. You want to get off of the of, of the upper end here. So here's what we got. We got Newark at, uh, Newark at about 642. We got Wilmington closer to about 652. So that puts it here in about 15 minutes from now. Woodbury at 707. The tornado warning in addition to the tornado and we have had a tornado already down in Sussex County. Uh, so we're watching that we've had and that warning itself just expired down in Sussex County there. I'm, I'm monitoring this here. Um, we've had reports of 98 mile per hour winds and that's likely because of that tornado Probably by the way if you're just joining us and you're and you're wanting to know uh so about the game and why you know we're covering up some of that we have it on cw philly 57. Yeah, all right so let's sample this directly from where we are tracking this, road this rotation this rotation 643. So Take your tornado off, precautions now. Put your plan in place. Like I said before, lowest level of the house, as many walls between you so and the outside as possible. Sight Creek, 656. Bennett, Bennett, Seven o'clock. Ellsmere, this is at 703. My yeah, clock right now eight, uh, is 640. The so you have another, Dungeons those towns I just mentioned, another 10, 15, 20 minutes now for that particular tornado. Uh, warning. This is actually that's the tornado warning. Okay, that's what we're ha that's what we have here in the, the red. This now widespread there, area Jim. of orange sure is brand new, exactly and this entire spoons. Spoons, yeah. region, it's everything, it's Philadelphia, before, right? all of Bucks yeah. County, guys, Mercer yeah. County, yeah. extending down down to, into Cumberland yeah. County and into Kent this County. This is a severe thunderstorm Clarence warning, Clarence. and this is a huge area. This is a big line of storms that's moving its way uh, across the region. Region. So let's put Bradley on the radar right now really as it gets a little bit closer. Lady. And Andrew, it might be, if you want to talk, and guys in TOC, you probably Seiko. hear me too. Uh, can you check that Seiko library Boston. camera? I know we can flip that around and we can look to the west. Paris, any of those cameras that, that we can scan and, and look to the west. And if you find any of those, man, just let me know so we can put those on air. Of course, Andrew Kozak and I are here covering. Um, and before we get to that, I do want to track this out for you because these storms are coming on in. They are now approaching Philadelphia, right over, essentially, King of Prussia. you got the PA Turnpike is going to be out in Valley Ford, seeing a lot of it right on the leading edge here. You're in the Montgomery County. Every one of these lightning emblems here are cloud to ground lightning strikes that are measured in just 15 minutes. So there is a lot of, a lot of lightning with this as well. And again, I want to bring up, and I'm going to bring it up over, over and over if you're watching us here. On uh, the CBS 3, on the and you're wondering now, why camps. you're not watching the game because you know, we don't want to see the weather. It is on CB, uh, CW Philly there. 57 right now. So you can watch it. You don't have to hear the weather if you don't want to. Okay, CW, 50, uh, CW Philly yeah, good 57. Uh, well, what are you too, looking at now? What, what camera are we looking at there? That was Kate May. Okay, that was Kate May. So let me track this out for you, this brand new line of storms that's moving. I'm going to go all the way north of Bucks County and take this leading edge here right through where that tornado warning is. And let's cut it across and give you a fresh update on some timing. What you're going to expect when you see your city. This is, is that our library camera there? Yeah, that's our. So what you're looking at, folks, there is, of course, you're looking off to the west, looking, you know, past the Schuylkill River over there to uh, west, west Philadelphia. You see the dark clouds off in the distance. That is that leading edge. That will be in Philadelphia going, here That's in the next probably seven minutes.
seven Ryan to eight Dutcher minutes. Says we gotta and talk along with that, over. there's going to be some strong winds. There's going to be some uh, prolific change. lightning. There's going to be some heavy rain. And those winds could be 50 to 60 miles per hour. Andrew, let's talk for a moment since tornado we have the outside. active tornado warning. Uh, no. You know, we don't get them around here very often. No. And it's important for folks to take shelter. I mean, you got the tornado warning, and we'll see severe thunderstorm warning at that matter. Mm -hmm. Give some tips. What, what should folks do right now if they have that? All right. Well, Bill, listen, we if you are lunch? inside a tornado warning area agent, right now, the most important thing you do is grab you everybody, the family, the dog, and get to the bottom or lowest part of your house. A basement, if you don't have a basement, the lowest interior room. Obviously, if you don't have a basement, it would be most likely a closet or an interior your bathroom without any windows. This again for a tornado warning. Although I have to tell you, Philadelphia, you're under a severe thunderstorm warning. But I'm looking at the latest freshest information, and some of those wind gusts could be over 70 miles per hour in the city. So it's important that you start thinking about these type of things too. In a tornado warning, you want to make sure you get to that interior room. You want to make sure that you duck down, and most importantly, protect your head. You don't want debris flying at your head. That is where the biggest problems of injuries and deaths occur. You want to avoid. Vent windows and open areas. Obviously, we can have debris flying through windows. And listen, we're already seeing these warnings out there right now today. Part of a very powerful system uh, that affected the Midwest and gave some very large, powerful tornadoes yesterday. There could be flying debris, so that's exactly why you want to be inside, lowest part of your house, and of course, protect your head. Somebody just uh, Instagram messaged me, IG DM, and said, Well, I'm in an apartment. What do I do? Try to get down to the lowest. Part, on, part of the apartment foul. building, if Jay? you can. Jay's Obviously, that would be the best thing out. to do, and it's Double obviously up. inside and away from any windows. In the meantime, so since tornadoes well, usually come through in and out very quickly, like you want to make sure that you stay inside and away from anything after it passes. Of course, that also means not getting near any down power lines, trees, and sharp debris. Another thing I want to talk about as we move over here is the damaging winds. Right now, as I mentioned, Philadelphia underneath a severe thunderstorm warning until 7:30. The thunderstorm winds that will be affecting Philadelphia have the potential to gust over 70 miles per hour. That is damaging wind, of course. And with the rain that we had this morning from that first round of non-severe storms, it is very likely and very possible we could see some power outages with trees down, power lines, things like that. So you want to take that uh, into consideration. As we get into the next couple of hours, it's going to be the Jersey Shore that we will start watching. As these lines of storms move through Philadelphia into central and southern New Jersey, Jersey, and then across the shore, they will be packing a punch with those winds. And again, potential for well, tornado week, warnings even as far to uh, east Club as the Club Jersey Shore. Hey, Andrew, I got to interrupt you and take yeah. it back. We have a brand new tornado warning. Right as soon as you mentioned that, right on cue, uh, this tornado warning just came down from the National Weather Service. It is now up for Burlington, Mercer County, Bucks County. So you guys have a tornado warning that's in effect. Let me clean this up and show you exactly what we're talking about. Here's that warning. Right Right here in, in a similar yeah, place where we had the 15. warning back in February in Trenton. <laughs> so all of these areas in Bucks County, in addition to the was severe thunderstorm, it is a radar maybe? indicated tornado. Here. I'm just <laughs> reading here. It's a severe thunderstorm capable of producing both tornadoes yeah, and extensive straight line wind damage. Look they were located over Richboro or 13 miles west of Trenton. And this is moving to the east at 40 miles per hour. And I'm going to get you a hyper localized area here in just a moment. But this is our newest tornado warning that we have in the Bucks County and Mercer County, including Trenton, Levittown, Fairless Hills, uh, and then back just north of Ben Salem there. Uh, Bristol's in that, Northampton, as you can see, Northampton. Let's zoom on down. Let me put the radar on here for you. And uh, we are going to zoom down, and let me see what the National Weather Service themselves is seeing here. And they're looking at this area right here. We look at a different radar image for you. Right so, um, you see yeah, Wendy it's Square this one Hamburger. right here. So this you is what we're focused in on. That's you see where you have the green and the red episode. side by oh, side. Baby, that is what is prompting the, the National Weather Service most we're likely to issue this. So here's, I'm getting real hyper local here for you. Here's Little Italy. Here's Wrightstown. We're talking about, let me widen this out. I'm going to do a track for you. If you hear your city, you know anybody that lives here, please call, tell them you have an active tornado warning in your area. In fact, let me put on the uh, the outline of that. We're actually inside that outline box. So here's the tornado warning within this entire box. But where we're going to focus in on is this area right here, just south of Wrightstown, north of Northampton, heading toward Newtown. 
heading toward Lower I'm Makefield. Sunshine. You got it. Heading toward Trenton. Uh, Levittown's to the south of this line here. Middletown is likely to the south. Let me track this out for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on this particular product right here. Let's just zoom this out. So this is a line. Tornado precautions now. What Andrew is telling you, it's very important. You get as many walls between you and the outside as possible. You got Newtown at 651. So that's essentially within the next minute or two. Lower Makefield. You guys got 657. So you have another, you know, 10 minutes or so. Friends and family, you don't get them in and say, it's time to get inside. Please take these storms seriously. A lot of times when we deal with injuries, we deal with you unfortunately deaths and things like that. And not always, but a lot war. of times they are Medella, preventable. The a lot of times people not taking these events seriously. You want me I to encourage do you and I, and, oh, I, and, I, and I urge you to one please take one. this seriously. This is a very dangerous storm. Straight line winds, rotating winds. We've had a report okay, already of 98 miles per hour uh, down in Sussex That's County. Cool. Viewing you right around 7 o'clock. You can see Braeburn Heights just a minute or so after that. In Trenton, 703. Of course, very populated area. So Trenton, you guys have another 10 minutes, 14 minutes, somewhere in there. Uh, Hamilton, right around 706. So that is the active tornado warning right now for Bucks County and down in and over into Mercer County in New Jersey as that crosses over the Delaware. And of course, the National Weather Service issues a, a fairly large polygon for this particular area, but anywhere within it, you the want GMC to take the precautions, but specifically in this line the right in the middle of that polygon. Its uh, you know, a good friend of mine, James Spann, who works down in Alabama, yeah, some of you may have heard runs. of James. Yeah, he says the phrase, respect the polygon. It's so, it's so true. I mean, you, you see these things and I just cannot Urge here strong enough, Houston, I can't strong enough in my language to please take these Atlantic. things seriously. If you're just joining us, I'm going to take a second to tell you that we have the game and running and fully scoring. without That's part of their any weather this coverage year. over top of it on CW Philly 57. <laughs> you don't want to hear I about the weather, you, you can go over there and watch nice the game, game volume up, I think. If you don't want to see the game and you want to see this weathercast field, go to our streaming app, the CBS News Philadelphia. We're streaming on that. We have them all afternoon. And then you don't have to have the game off to the side. In terms of our broadcast, we're going to stay on. We're going to keep the game on. We're going to keep it on off to the side. You're not going to hear it. But we are going to keep it on for you folks that kind of want to air just a little bit of both. All right, Tap down. you can say that again, picture so one what? Okay, so here's our, balls. so this is our library cam. Again, right that's our director talking to me, uh, Laura. So you, you this is that storm that's approaching Philadelphia. This is not the tornado uh, warm part of the storm, but it is, exact, it is the exact same storm that we are watching. That's exactly what I wanted to do next. This is from Plymouth Meeting. There's a lightning. You can see that going on. And I talked about the prolific lightning. It's the kind of lightning that's continued over and over and over again as this storm is crossing. Say it again. Oh, and then this is Cape May. This is Cape May where we we had that tornado warning in Sus Sussex County, and that tonight. storm is now over that that the mouth of the Delaware Bay, just south of Cape May. So look at that. One of the embedded tornadoes are popped. I'm just reading what the National Weather Service is saying. So let me reset you here. Let me let me show you what's going on. By the way, okay, so we have at this moment, and we're coming to you live at 6:51 p.m. here on this Saturday evening. This very active and dangerous Saturday Wendy's. evening. What you're looking at on the left-hand side of your screen there is our live camera safe. from Philadelphia. That's the Vine Street Expressway that has a lot of cars on it. You know, and that's another point, too. You know anybody that's out driving in the path of the storm? You know somebody that's there on that Vine Street Expressway right now. Tell them, call them and say, hey, why don't you pull on over? Find a place, go into a restaurant. Cars are not safe places to be during severe weather, certainly not under uh, tornado warnings. Uh, anybody that's out and about traveling around, tell them. We're looking to the north on this shot, and that to me is it definitely is a shelf cloud. Sorry, I, my monitors are kind of small. I keep looking around. Um, you can see this is crossing over the Delaware as it pushes through Philadelphia. That's J Jersey, of course, on the right hand side of the screen as that system. Oh, man, that's almost Andrew. That's almost a textbook shelf cloud. Wouldn't you say? I, yeah, I would say we. Yeah, that's something you see in the Midwest or Florida. Not not very often you see that here. Yeah. And yeah. so that is that is the severe component of this storm. Uh, that is approaching Philadelphia. Now we're getting the rain. Like I said, you're going to get the winds kick up. You're going to get the rain. You're going to get then the lightning behind that. You're going to get some heavy rain right where that lightning is. And that's where the hail is potentially going to be. And then behind that, you're going to be dealing with uh, some lighter rain that will last for a little while. But the intense part is on a line that is going to be over the Philadelphia area within minutes. I mean, you, you, you literally have minutes left. That's it for this. I, I, I can't stress strong enough uh, to be prepared. 
and I, and I see things like, and I get it, people are out driving on the, on the Express 95, anywhere, doesn't matter. There's Gloucester City in New Jersey. We are looking at the camera from the south, and you're starting to see all this move its way into the Philadelphia area, and that severe wind is, is going to be here. And I'll give you a localized sample here. And again, I, I'm not ignoring the tornado warning that's up. I'm going to go back and investigate that in, in a second. But this is a line that's in basically... Uh, impacting absolutely everybody. So let me do a fresh track for you on here. I'm going to take the leading edge of this and include Philadelphia and Chester, and let's go right across like this. So here's a fresh update for you, as you can see. And, and I got to point out again how much lightning there is. Lightning is a very dangerous component, obviously, of storms uh, when you're out and about. And so to have that visual there of all the lightning and, and combine it with what we're seeing on the map uh, is, is uh, yeah, just tells us that the storms are as severe as we anticipated them being. Cherry Hill, 7 o'clock. So now, essentially, uh, that storm's going to be on your doorstep here. It's essentially over the city of Philadelphia as we speak. Mount Laurel, 706. Uh, Gloucester, 714. Washington, 718. Tabernacle at 724. That is the severe component part of this storm. Um, I don't see uh, any more addition to the tornado warning, and I'm seeing a very similar setup here with this what's called velocity and what what we look at in this and what you really need to know what's important for you is where you see these bright shades of red next to bright shades of green that is where there's a rotation because it's the radar indicating movement in a different direction so it's just north here I mean just north of Levittown on this one heading I mean to Trenton this right here lower Makefield I mean it's just south of your area uh, it's a very alarming look at what this is. There's Fairless Hills, I mentioned that. So between that, and it's gonna ride just to the north and push its way over into Trenton within the next, in fact, I can take uh, this tool right here, tornado warning, oh, that's a new one, that's for Philadelphia. Let's look at that one. I mean, it's going to be in Trenton at 7.04. Okay, so if you're just joining us, maybe you're tuning in, you want to watch the game, the game is live in full on CW Philly 57. We are covering severe weather here in our area with a brand new tornado warning that includes Philadelphia now. And this is a huge warned system. It's, it's North Philly. Make sure that you get down below. Make sure you protect your head. Make sure you're away from any windows or open areas, flying debris. That is something that we see not only during tornadoes, but also straight line winds. Now that said, I'm going to send it over to Bill. We have some more updates on this latest warning. All right, Andrew, thank you very much. From CBS News Philadelphia, this is a next weather storm alert update. Hey there, everyone. I'm meteorologist Bill Kelly. We continue to watch these storms get stronger and stronger. Now a very large area with a tornado warning in effect. It includes Philadelphia, not Center City, not Old City, not the heart of Philadelphia, but North Philadelphia, as you can see, then moving over primarily into Burlington County. It includes Mount Laurel, includes Mount Holly, Haynesport. Morristown, Cinnaminson, back to Pemberton, Medford, Medford Lakes, and the list goes on and on. We also continue to watch the tornado warning that is in effect for Lower Bucks County, Levittown, Fairless Hills, over to Trenton into Mercer County. These are two separate tornado warnings in addition to the widespread severe thunderstorm warning. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. If you want to watch the game, we are airing it fully right now on CW Philly 57. If you don't want to see the weather, it's on CW 57 right now. You can go over there and the game is there. But these are dangerous storms and they're moving through very heavily populated areas. And that's why we are going to just take the weather here and, and talk about what's going on. This is our camera in Camden. It's a it's a turbulent sky. The winds are kicking up 60, 70 miles per hour. And you can see the chop there on the Delaware. It's a very dangerous situation. So I'm going to focus in now on these separate tornado warnings. So the first one that just came down, here's what we're looking at. Okay. By the way, the white on this map is an indicator of hail and we've had reports of hail. Hail, severe size of, a, of an inch in diameter, that's the size of a quarter. Anything like that or greater is considered severe. Look at all these reds. This is the heavy rain and the lightning is prolific out there. I, I don't have to tell you if you're in this area, you're hearing it or seeing it depending on on, you know where you are for sure but I'm going to sample out this warning and where we may be talking about a tornado out there so I look uh, at our cameras as well uh, so what I look at is rotation okay so I, I use this product it's called velocity and what it tells us is the speed and direction of some of these storms and I'm seeing a couple of things on here I'm seeing a very bright return just to the north of Morristown here I mean this is it I mean you got the Jersey Turnpike right there 
You got, uh, you know, 295 working up to the north as well. I'm going to use a different one and, and see if we can get a better sample in the same place. So we're going to focus in on this area just to the north of Morristown. I mean, pretty much up near the Rancocas River. Uh, so let's track that out. It's moving at about 40 to 50, even 55 miles per hour. So I'm going to sample this. In fact, before I do that, let me put the outline on and you can see uh, where this warning is. The warning is within this and oftentimes the National Weather Service will put the warning around where that uh, indicator on the radar is in the middle of the screen. So let's sample this out and I'm going to draw this out like this. This is not an absolute. It is a gauge. In fact, that's a brand new scan. Let me take this off and let me let me put a brand new scan on there for you. I'm going to scan it from right here and go on. OK, so places like Haynesport, I mentioned that within the next few minutes. Uh, you know, Mount Holly is going to be in there as well. Lumberton, that's at 710. East Hampton, you got 712. You're going to go Pemberton at 717. Fort Dix at 721. These are a matter of minutes, maybe 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Your tornado precautions, you want to take those. And what that means, whenever you have a tornado warning, you grab you and your family and get into the center part, the lowest level of your house. If you have a basement, that's where you want to be. It's what it looks like in Philadelphia right now. The rain coming down, you can hardly see, you know, Liberty Place there from, from our location just north of the Vine Street Expressway. It's the rain's coming down at an exceptional rate. The lightning, as you can see, and the winds just based on the water that is on our lens and how it is moving. The winds are easily 50 to 60. And that would be another thing, Andrew, if you wouldn't mind looking at some of the observations. You can even use Metis data sites and go and see if you can track some different observations and tell me what, what you come up with, like some of the, the, the wind reports as well. If you have any of those, uh, that would be awesome. Um, yeah. You know, or other Doing things. That so Italian Village, that we said, that's the shot, right? Um, Again, rain coming down, you know, winds are around. But if you have the tornado warning in your area, center part of your house, the basement if you can, get as many walls between you and the outside as possible. You want to think about stuff flying around in the wind. Okay, the wind itself is dangerous. If you have a 100 mile per hour wind, obviously that, that's dangerous by itself, but it's not that. It's what's in the wind. It's the rocks, it's the sticks, it's the shingle pieces that it's picked up. Sometimes if they're larger, you have things that are significantly bigger than that. And, uh, you know, I often use the example to just, you know, when I'm talking to, you know, students and something, if, if I had something small, like maybe a tennis ball and I just kind of lobbed it over to you, that's not a big deal. But if it got shot at you at a cannon at 100 miles per hour, that's going to be a totally different scenario. And that's what happens in tornadoes. You get these that you know, you get stuff that's just whipping around in the wind. And also, I want to point out, as we're looking at these cameras, look how dark the sky is. The sun is not down yet. The sun does not go down for another half an hour, essentially. And it's almost like night out there. And that tells you also the intensity of these storms as they are moving through the city. They're moving through the Philadelphia area. And so as we have these, if you want to squeeze these back into a, a box, that'd be great. Let's let's show the radar and let's go back and talk about the various warnings that we have in our area. So the storms are moving through. We have the tornado warning here. We still have the one that's up into Bucks County and up into Mercer County. That is up right now. And I, and I say they're up. Let me tell you when they expire. We'll let you know when they expire. They'll, they'll dump off of this map. But the one in uh, Bucks and, and Mercer is until 715. The one in Burlington is up until 730. So the warnings continue for at least another 15 minutes, half an hour, you know, maybe a little bit less than that uh, in spots right now. However, with that being said, the overall line, this is the shade of orange that you see here. This is the severe thunderstorm warning. And yeah, thank you for putting that up there. If you want to watch the game, it's on CW 57. So it's there. We're airing it when we're done covering this weather, when the, the when the storm is over and the, the threat is gone, then we'll of course come back uh, here on channel three. But the severe thunderstorm warning up until 730 tonight. So the National Weather Service will certainly uh, move its way across. Andrew, were you, were you checking some of those? Yeah, I got I got some winds uh, and pretty impressive, especially yeah. even here. Yeah, real, real quick before you do that, because I, I saw just as you were saying that the National Weather Service extended this tornado warning out. Okay. So let me just look at that and then I'm going to come over to you because I want to hear some of these winds and it kind of give, will give you folks watching a gauge as to what you're expecting if this hasn't reached your area yet. So brand new tornado warning right here that has been extended. It's the one that is now over Mercer County. This is now up until 745 and that's going to move uh, essentially out of our television viewing area. It's up into the New York, New York zone. But still, we're tracking that. So let's go down and just look at why the National Weather Service decided to extend that out, that particular storm, as we look at the 
uh, radar itself, the heaviest of that storm, I mean, just right over Trenton. The heaviest stuff moving out of Bucks County, it's basically over the Delaware River right now with fresh lightning strikes, as you can see there. But when we look at the velocity data, just north of Bordentown, there looks to be a little bit of rotation there. There it is, just outside of Trenton. It's this activity. I mean, this, this is just such clear rotation where you have green is moving one direction. It's actually moving like this. And then the pink is moving this direction. And you have winds that are moving opposite directions to the tune of probably 80 to 90 miles per hour looking at these, maybe 100 miles per hour looking at these shades and these colors. So it's right in here, right on the line of Mercer County and Burlington that we're going to be seeing that uh, move across. And I'm going to give you a sample of that. And then I want to hear about some of your winds. I'm going to extend this on out like this. So this would put it in upper freehold right around 714, uh, Cassville at 724, extend that out to Jackson, say right around 727. So that is the newest tornado warning that we have and we continue to watch them. What, what did you come up with, Andrew, when you were talking about some of those winds out there? Well, we, have, we, we have winds in the city of Philadelphia. And again, we're not done yet as these storms are moving through, but we have winds in the city of Philadelphia over 60 miles per hour. In fact, take a look at this. I just slapped this together really quick because the storms are all happening right now. But some of the gusts from the storms that we're seeing now, 54 right. mile per hour wind gusts in Wilmington, 62 in Philadelphia. One thing I do want to point out is that when these storms are going west of us, starting to really bubble up only in the 40 mile mile per hour range. Yes, we had some severe thunderstorm warnings for those storms, but let me kind of explain why too. We had a lot of sunshine late morning and early afternoon, and that really increased the instability in the air. Basically, it's like pouring fuel onto a fire, and that was right across the Philadelphia area, the Delaware River, and now across New Jersey. So no wonder why these storms kind of bubbled up so quickly. A little earlier today on social media, we were talking about the opportunity for these storms to really increase in intensity and in coverage area, and basically, once you add that sunshine in the mix, that's when you really start to see the instability, the bubbling up. So that's what's happening right now. We have wind gusts over 50, now over 60 miles per hour in the city of Philadelphia. No doubt we will see a little bit more across the area as well. I do want to talk about really quickly, because a lot of you may be joining, coming in and out, about what to do during a tornado warning. Right now we do have a couple of tornado warnings out there. Of course, the city of Philadelphia, the north end of Philadelphia, especially north Philadelphia, underneath that, you want to make sure to go to a basement, the lowest level of your apartment, your house, your fl uh, floor. If you don't have a basement or one that you can get into, you got to get to that lowest interior level, most likely a closet or a bathroom. It's very important to protect your head. It's very important to make sure that you don't go outside. These tornadoes, uh, these uh, severe winds, they go in and they go out very quickly. And once they're done, there could be some damage out there. So you want to make sure you don't go anywhere near windows, open areas. And then when it's done, you want to make sure that you don't want to hit any power lines, trees down, things like that. You want to make sure that you stay safe and inside. That's what we're seeing here. Damaging wind is also going to be something we see. And Bill, especially as we get a little bit closer to sundown, a lot of times that decreases the tornado threat, but the damaging wind threat is something that we're going to see. And that will take us all the way to the Jersey Shore. So for those areas seeing a little bit of rain like Cape May and over down toward the Wildwoods, uh, it's still headed your way. And that's why we're going to stay with you tonight and keep you safe. And of course, not scared, but prepared exactly. in these thunderstorms. And, and that's that's what it is. It's keeping prepared. And, and we talk about that planning things out. We knew this was going to be a big weather day, and I hope that you had that plan in place. Well, let's do this now. Practically everywhere along this line of strong storms is under a severe thunderstorm warning, if not a tornado warning. We were talking about the activity there. So I wanna do some localized tracking for you folks that haven't had the weather yet because you're going to get it. So let's start, we're gonna move from south to north. So here we are, it is now moved through over into Wilmington. It's now past Wilmington, it's active in Wilmington, but the leading edge is past it. It's draping down close to the uh, border of, with Kent County. So let's do a sample of this. Everything's moving at about 50 miles per hour or so. So we're gonna draw this across into South Jersey, Cumberland County, uh, Salem County as well, maybe taking it a little bit closer to uh, Cape May County. So you got Bridgeton. I'm not gonna rattle off every city here, but you can see 724, a uh, Mullica at 744, a uh, Maurice River right around 751. That is when the leading edge of the severe storm is going to approach your house. You're going to get the wind. You're going to get the heavy rain. Of course, the lightning after that. You may get some hail following that because the radar is picking up some hail. We've had some reports as well. And then you're going to get uh, 
then you're going to get rain after that uh, and it won't be as strong or as severe. So let's move on up. We continue to draw. Let me take that off. We continue to move up here into Philadelphia. You've been watching the cameras. It is over Philadelphia right now with all of the lightning. It's over Camden. It's over basically all the counties surrounding. I mean, look, at I mentioned before the sun has not gone down yet and it is extremely dark outside because these are very thick cloud tops and they go up way high. So let's sample this severe thunderstorm warning taking basically the leading edge and I'm going to draw this one out like this. And this will say, let me let me do another uh, track for you, make it a little bit on the smoother side. It's approaching Medford and Medford Lakes, by the way. You guys are, if you don't have it already, it's a matter of minutes for you. Uh, and you are in that tornado warning. Get in your safe space now. And really with winds this strong, 60, 70 miles per hour, straight line or rotating, it, it doesn't necessarily matter. I would encourage you to get into your safe space for sure. And once again, in case you're not seeing, Final Four is on CW57. I was checking Twitter, got some great photos from you guys in, in some spots. A lot of people asking you, hey, what's going on with this? We're broadcasting it on CW57. And when the violent, deadly weather threat is over, then we'll put the basketball game back on here on Channel 3. Uh, Washington, 713. Williamstown at 721. Hamilton, right around 734. We have Lacey at 740. Ocean Acres, 752. If you've heard the name of your town or anywhere nearby, this is a generalized gauge as to when you are going to get the active weather and the severe weather and possibly the tornado, tornadic kind of conditions over your area. Let's go a little farther up to the north and then I'll go really localize where those active tornado warnings are, specifically the one that's in Burlington County. All right, so let's go up here and take the leading sample of this head out towards, say, Seaside Heights and Toms River. Uh, there you go. You got Jackson at 723, Brick at 738, and there's Seaside Heights, coincidentally mentioned, at 749. So that's another, say, half an hour from now. So we're looking down the shore in that 745 to, you know, 830 range or so. What did you say, Laura? Oh, Cape May. That's Cape May that we're looking at there. And that, that's when it's going to be there. And it's going to be potentially even more intense as it gets closer to that area because there's been that much more heating and the storms have generated and they're moving across at that uh, very strong clip. Now let's go down and look at the active warnings and show you what we're talking about. So this warning here is the one I really want to focus on into Burlington County that the National Weather Service had in Philadelphia and Northern Camden it has tailored back. And what they'll do is they'll often which is great. They're doing a great job. And you folks, if you're watching us here from the local office, Mount Holly, you're doing a great job on these warnings. I totally agree with all these calls. Thank you for that. They're going to break these back as the as the weather system moves. They don't just put it up and set it and forget it. They monitor the situation and they move it as need be. So when we're looking at this, let me put on now the velocity data and take a scan as to what I'm seeing here. It looks it looks a little muddier, which it, which is good. I'm not seeing a very clear tornado signature on this which we don't like to see because the clearer it looks, the more uh, likely it is that there's a tornado on the ground. There's certainly some rotation right in here, just outside of Lumberton. So you get a little bit of a different color. So we'll take a sample from that. And when we put the radar on, that's the leading edge too. And that's in the warning. So let's get you really localized down here. And let's just start We're Pemberton, take it down to Cherville, just south of Medford Lakes. And oh, they just they did it on the fly. You can see as I was talking about, they've taken the tail. So back over to, you know, Morristown, Haynesport, Mount Laurel, places I talked about. You are no longer in the tornado warning. You're still in the severe thunderstorm warning, uh, but you're no longer in the tornado threat of it. So Medford Lake 770 essentially now um, Southampton at 718 Fox Chase 722. Tabernacle, uh, Tabernacle at 723, Johnson Place at 727. That is a, an update for the tornado warning part of the storm. Again, take your tornado precautions, get in the center part of your house, the low, if you don't have a basement, you wanna get as many walls between you and the outside as possible. I also wanna point out too, because I think it, it's important, we're showing you these you know, pretty scary looking live cameras, which they are. Uh, we have a lot of lightning. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a father of, of three kids and I know how scared they get. And I'm sure many of you are watching are in the same boat. Maybe you're scared. You, you just I'm getting reports of a lot of people in lower bucks without power. That, that's an update that I just got. Power outages, unfortunately, are expected in situations like this. And so, uh, you know, if, if you haven't had the storm yet, Get your stuff prepared, get your flashlights ready, get your devices charged up, um, get your batteries in line, uh, you know, make sure your app is loaded. If you're watching us on channel three and you don't have the CBS News Philadelphia app loaded, 
load that app because you, you click on it and right at the top we have our live stream. And we, we've been covering this on our app for hours. Uh, we will continue to do that. So if you need to go take shelter, you walk away, you don't, you walk away from your TV, you can still have this, even if it's just up in the corner. Heck, you can have the basketball game on CW57 and you can have this up in the corner and listen to this too. You can have both. Um, but I think it's very important too is to where the storms are have passed. So you folks in central and upper Bucks County, your threat is over. Montgomery County, your threat is over. Back to Redding and Lancaster, the Lehigh Valley, the Poconos, your threat is over. It's still raining in many of these locations. You're seeing the lightning off to the east. You may even hear the thunder depending on where you are. But that's once this very large, intense line of storms moves through our region, the severe threat is going to be over. We're not going to get another major line cutting through Lancaster. You folks had that uh, tornado warning nearby earlier on today. Uh, Chester County had the tornado warning. That is long gone. You're not going to get another line. It's going to clear on out. But ahead of it, it's going to be pretty intense. So once again, let's take uh, plan this on out. Take a leading edge. Let's take it all the way down. Dover, you folks are in our viewing area. It's knocking on your door any moment. 726 is what this says. And what time is it now? 719. Lakewood at 736, Galloway at 759, Egg Harbor at 803, Atlantic City 816. So we've been telling you about that down the shore in that 745 to 830 time frame. And that's, uh, what are we, where's that? Oh, that's Atlantic City right there that we're looking at where the storms are not there quite yet. But what it also does is it shows you how much daylight is still out there, uh, right? The sun is just now essentially starting to go down. Not as much daylight here because the storms are so big off to the west. It's, it's sheltering some of that or shading some of that sunshine. But when we're in Philadelphia, it looks like night right now. I mean, in many spots because of, of uh, clouds and how thick they are. Um, Looking at the National Weather Service just came down. They are going to continue the tornado warning for Mercer County, Monmouth and Ocean County. That's the one that's uh, up to the north right here that we talked about that. We're getting reports of no power in parts of Lower Bucks County. That's where the tornado warning was. In addition to the severe thunderstorm, we're waiting to see if there's anything here for storm report. I'm going to look at this real quick. Thunderstorm wind damage in Newcastle County and Delaware. That came down Lower Makefield, Bucks County. A uh, picture of quarter size hail, which is severe. So there's the hail part of this storm. Um, uh, I just got new information about a cancellation of the severe thunderstorm warning for Delaware, Montgomery and Philadelphia. That's the back edge of that that we were talking about. But the severe thunderstorm warning uh, will continue to extend now into Kent County and into sections of uh, South Jersey. And now the National Weather Service, there it is. They've extended that out and you can see here that the tornado, the Severe thunderstorm warning is now going to continue to work its way down the Atlantic City Expressway, moving over toward Long Beach Island and up near Tom's River. Not quite to Atlantic City yet, but that severe thunderstorm warning will unquestionably uh, be there in that area. If you're just joining us, we are tracking this severe weather. It is 721 here uh, on this Saturday evening, this very active Saturday evening. I'm meteorologist Bill Kelly along with Andrew Kozak. We're going to get you through the storm whenever we have severe and deadly weather, which is what this is. 70 mile per hour winds. If you're not paying attention, uh, that could be uh, catastrophically uh, damaging if you know, it's certainly deadly. Uh, we are going to cover these for you. We're going to get you through the storm and we're going to we're going to cover it. We have the game on CW Philly 57. So if you're upset that you're not seeing your game, we have it broadcast for you in its entirety without any weather covered. So there you go. And we'll come back to uh, CBS uh, three here when that when that threat winds down. I got I'm hearing a video of hail in Roxboro. There it is. So we're looking at that there. This sent in. We say it again. Oh yeah, P, I was going to say, it looks like P or marble size hail. You see the lightning out of that as well. Um, yeah, so hail is going to be a part of the storm. We have had a, Andrew, I'm, I, we haven't had a lot of reports there of hail. Have you seen any reports that, that have stood out to you at all? Oh, we saw the one that was an inch in diameter. Yeah, that, just that and, and then this video obviously being brand new here. Sure. There's pro probably, I mean, I've seen on, on uh, Instagram, some people are posting some videos. Pita marble size hail has yeah. been a little common with this, especially on the northern end of the line. Uh, and any of those tornado worn storms, it's very likely that there was at least some pita marble size hail, maybe nickel or dime as well. But sure. this is probably what we're seeing here, the most common hail that we've seen. The winds, though, with these storms racing across the area, the winds, straight line winds, and of course, the tornado threat have been the big, big issues out there today. Yeah, you said, what did you see, 62 officially 62 officially at Philadelphia International. Yeah, yeah. so that, that's certainly on the uh, severe level. So brand new coming down, uh, severe, the, the 
Philadelphia area continues the severe thunderstorm warning with considerable wind, 70 miles per hour or greater in spots. And that's this storm right here that we are tracking. And it's moving from the west to the east at about 50 miles per hour. So that warning that goes now out this one is up until 815 PM. 70 mile per hour winds, hail, possibly larger than what you just saw, and a lot of lightning with this. And that is why we are staying on uh, to track it. In addition to that, at this moment, we have a couple of tornado warnings still to tell you about. This one in Mercer County is now out of Mercer County. It will continue Monmouth County and continue on uh, Ocean that way. And then as we look down south, here's Pemberton and Tabernacle in the Burlington County National Weather Service tailoring this off. It's the same warning that I showed you that I said, well, it's looking a little muddy, not as clear, which is good, but we're really tracking those winds. Andrew, what you, uh, you know, I just want to update and I'm, I'm checking New Jersey right now, but as of the current time, there are now 17,500 people without power oh, wow. uh, in uh, in Pennsylvania. So just to let you know, there are some areas, I believe Bucks County yeah. uh, reported some people without power. But right now, according to Pico's website, uh, we're looking at 17,500 people without power. I'm going to get back to you guys in a bit because these storms are racing through Jersey. So no doubt we're going to see some of that. Uh, no doubt we're seeing that yeah. already now across New Jersey. So we'll get an update here. But this line continues to move across central Jersey and Right now, 17,500 people in Phil in Pennsylvania without power. I'm going to go check New Jersey and bring you back as well. Perfect. And second. if you don't mind, uh, when you come back, throw up that slide again that at what you what you should do if you have a tornado warning like like the, yeah. uh, the pre prepare stuff too, because we are going to be tracking this. We don't have any new tornado warnings, but this is still an area where we have the tornado watch. And this is what you're looking at on your screen, by the way. The yellow is a tornado watch. Watch means conditions are possible. Warning means that it's happening or will happen. The orange that you see here, and this is East now Philadelphia. The severe thunderstorm warning is no longer up in Philadelphia. It doesn't mean it's not active out there, but it's not quite to severe level. That's out ahead. The warning is lifted, no longer in effect for Bucks County, Montgomery County, Delaware County, and over into Chester County. The yellow is a tornado watch, meaning conditions are possible. Warning means it's happening or will happen. I'm sure sometime well before 10 p.m. they will pull down the tornado watch box, but at this point it's up until 10 p.m. All of this area though, out ahead of the line of storms is where we have the active severe thunderstorm warning up until 815. It's 725 right now and we have these lone tornado warnings that are still in effect. They're the same ones that we've been telling you about. Not new. They have not extended out. This isn't a brand new polygon. It's the original one that started back at Philadelphia and continued to tailor off. The National Weather Service has not extended it out. They're probably see I'm sure they're seeing the same thing that we're seeing and that is strong winds, but not enough of a clear signature in that rotation to extend the tornado warning. If they get a new sample and they look at that, then we will. But you're talking about that line of storms and you leave this up here uh, side by side. That is what's happening with the line of storms. And you see those those outlines of the same map that I'm showing you here and just the colors alone, the reds and the oranges and even the purples. That is an indicator of the very strong rain, certainly heavy rain and the hail as well. I mean, the radar when it's sweeping around, it's picking up stuff in the atmosphere. The bigger the stuff, the brighter the return it's called. So where you see those bright areas of red and those bright areas of orange, that's most likely a combination of very heavy rainfall, meaning there's a lot of rain there, big raindrops, a lot of stuff uh, and some hail thrown in there as well. And so it kind of gives us that image of it being very bright and it helps us tell you where the storms are, what they're doing, which way they're going, the direction of it. In addition, we have the hail uh, coloration on there, which where you see the bright shades of white is an indicator where the radar is picking up. Yeah, that just that's not quite rain. We think that's hail because the radar nowadays uh, is, is smart enough to determine if it's rain or if it's frozen or if it's anything else like debris. We have what's called a debris tracker as well, which is a totally uh, different color. Um, so again, if you're just joining us, we're pushing 730 here. Uh, we are tracking a line of severe storms. I'm going to give you a fresh track on this. It's moving at about 50 miles per hour. There are many of you I mean, tens, if not hundreds of thousands of you here that have not had this yet, uh, depending on, on where you are entirely from, they say, cut Jersey in the middle, south to north, and take it to the east. And the storms have not hit anywhere along the shore yet. And so let's do that. Like Atlantic City. In fact, that's what we're looking at right there, Atlantic City. So let's do a sample. I'm going to give you a fresh time on this, and then we'll go over to Andrew. And if you're watching and you're like, okay, I haven't had the storm yet. When the storm arrives, what should I do? And he's going to talk about that in just a second. But here's a fresh sample for you, putting it in Lakewood within the next couple of minutes. Tom's River near Seaside Heights, 738, uh, you know, seven, I think it 
tracked out Seaside at like 749. Uh, Egg Harbor at 8 o'clock. So we're same thing talking about, say, uh, Long Beach Island will be very similar to that. Uh, Atlantic City at 812. Uh, it's going to be close down to Wildwood and Cape May, closer to about 817. So that's in another 45 minutes. We've been looking at that 745 to 830 time frame down the shore as well. At this point, it's all straight line severe. And I, I hesitate to use the word just severe because it's extreme. It's a very strong and very dangerous storm. And, you know, sometimes people get hung up on, well, is it not a tornado warning? It's just a severe thunderstorm warning. You have 70 mile per hour winds. I mean, does it really matter if they're spinning this way or going in one direction? I mean, generally speaking, no, not really. You're going to be dealing with some stuff as it passes on by. And so that's why we're here. That's why we're covering it. That's why we've moved the game. We're not interrupting your game in terms of not letting you see it. It is on CW Philly 57. It's there. We'll bring it back on channel three when this storm threat is over. But for those of you who have not had the storm yet, if you get a warning in place, uh, you know, we have some information. We don't get these type of storms here a lot. Andrew, let's let's talk about that. What should people do if a warning is issued in their air? Yeah, you know, Bill, this is something I lived in Wichita. I lived in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Tornado Alley. This was sort of a, an everyday thing almost between the months of March and June. But here, obviously rare, we want to keep you protected. And again, I've been saying this all afternoon, all evening. We want to keep and make you sh make sure that you are prepared, not scared, especially if there's kids watching. This is just something that we we need to know again we can't change the weather we could just stay ahead of it so if you are underneath a tornado warning and i'm specifically talking now to people across new jersey central southern new jersey and the shore because this line is moving in your direction make sure you go to a basement lowest part of your house if you don't have a basement an interior bathroom an interior office an interior closet preferably one without windows. The most important thing once you get in there is to make sure that your head is protected. I like to crouch down and protect your head because the serious injuries, deaths, that occurs when debris flies through and of course hits your head. You want to avoid windows, open areas. Obviously, that's something we a lot of times get taught in school and when we're younger. However, when it is all done, you want to make sure to not go outside right away because tornadoes, if they do come through your area, it's usually very quickly in and out. You want to make sure that after it's passed, you don't hit any down power lines, trees. You want to stay away from all of that. Damaging winds, and this is something Bill just mentioned, that threat is for a large area of not only central New Jersey, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, but the Jersey Shore as well. Damaging winds, that can be in excess of 58 miles per hour. That would make it severe. We're already seeing over that as these storms race across New Jersey. Philadelphia International reported a wind gust of 62 miles per hour. These storms have an opportunity to present us with winds over 70 miles per hour as they race across New Jersey. Speaking of that and of course the wind damage as we get into eight nine o'clock they'll be done so remember we only have another couple of hours before this is all through all of our viewing area and eventually out to sea right now there's a little over 17,000 people in Pennsylvania without power in New Jersey there's about 8,000 people without power I'm expecting that number to increase as we continue to make our way in the next half hour to an hour also if you have pictures if you have uh, uh, videos go find us on Instagram it's very easy. CBS Philadelphia. Somebody just sent me a hail bill in Burlington, New Jersey, yeah. and I'm asking them send me some send me some pictures and they you know you take a ruler out. You can get the measurement there. Uh, we are seeing some hail with these right now. There's Center City, a live picture. You see the uh, the the lightning in the distance here. I'd say if you're in Center City, if you're in Philadelphia proper right now, the worst of it is over. We're still going to be looking at rain. And by the way, one thing I do want to mention too: lightning, cloud to ground lightning, which can be deadly, can strike and hit the ground 30 miles, 35 miles before a storm and 30, 35 miles after a storm behind it. So make sure that if you are in Center City, if you're in Philadelphia, don't just run outside just very quickly because we could still see some rogue lightning strikes Bill. That's something that happens and unfortunately we see deaths occur each and every year. Yeah, for sure. And there's a lot of lightning with this and you know it's there. It's not something that's just popping up out of the uh, blue. Uh, refresh my memory. Where is this from? This hail coming in? Windmore, Montgomery counties. This is Hale, a brand new video that was just sent to us, and it's hard to tell uh, how big that is, but relative to the cars, that's bigger than pea size, right? Uh, you know, you can see the size. And Andrew brought up too, whenever you're taking hail pictures, 
Uh, it's really great if you could put it next to something for your own self too that is of uniform size. Put it next to a quarter. Put it next to a ruler. Put it next to maybe a, a card, like a you know a deck of cards. Sometimes people show something in their hands, and that's fine. But is it a small hand? Is it a large hand? But yeah, it helps out certainly by a ruler is, is the most uh, logical thing. Then you can see how big it is there. All right, so it's not technically in our area, but a brand new tornado warning has come down. A lot of you are watching streaming, and we. Do broadcast technically the New York area here out near Tom's River, but I do want to show you the National Weather Service just put this out while Andrew was speaking. They have extended this tornado warning out. So let's talk about this for a moment. Then we're going to give you a fresh track of this line because these tornadoes were in the watch in these areas that we haven't had the rain yet and we haven't had the storms. You know, it's on the table. Severe weather, quick spin, you get a tornado. And some of these are lasting for a while versus just kind of touching the ground and then and then bouncing up. I mean, they're they're tracking for a while based on what I'm seeing on our radar and our velocity. So here it is. We're in a Monmouth County and Ocean County. Uh, this is a radar indicated as opposed to the one that was down in Sussex County that was observed. This is a radar indicated. So they're seeing it on the radar. In fact, if we look at that uh, velocity, what they're looking at is this right here, just north of Jackson, just north there of uh, 195. So we are tracking this and you see these really bright colors side by side. That is where there's, you know, that spin in the atmosphere. Uh, let's go back and show you where that warning is extending on out. A lot of lightning. That's that hail I was telling you about the bright white in this. So that is definitely having some hail. This is radar indicated capable of producing both tornadoes and extensive straight line wind damage. Of course, we're in the severe thunderstorm warning within this area as well. It's located over Old, High, uh, Old Halfway or 18 miles southwest of Tom's River, moving to the east at 55 miles per hour. So that is what we're focusing in on on this one right here. Although that's I, they probably meant to say northwest. Did I say northwest or southwest? They said southwest. They probably meant northwest. Uh, looking at this right here uh, on that one. Um, also, too, as we scroll down, what I want to show you, I'm going to give you a fresh track here. If you're just joining us, we are covering severe weather. We're covering these very strong 60, 70 mile per hour straight line winds and tornadoes that are associated with it. We do have the game on CW Philly 57. We'll bring that game back here to three when this overall threat is done. But this whole line now over Salem and into Cumberland County and now into parts of Kent County into Delaware over uh, the Delaware Bay approaching Cape May County and up into the shore Atlantic City, Cape May, Sea Isle City, Wildwood, no warning yet, you'll have one. I have no doubt that you're going to have a severe thunderstorm warning that extends out once this line gets a little bit closer. So let me put the track on here, give you a fresh one, and then I want to read. When Andrew was talking, I was looking at some of the reports. And, I, you know, speaking of what that, Bill, I just, Williamstown, New Jersey, yeah. just south and southeast of Philadelphia, transformers are blowing uh, frequent lightning and, and transformers are blowing out. Oh, wow. I got some video on Twitter uh, from Pete, one of our uh, frequent followers. I'm going to hand that over to the newsroom and we'll try to get that on yeah. Yeah, wow, just that, and that's of course going to have a major impact on a lot of those uh, power uh, outages that are there as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so you're looking at Bethlehem there. Bethlehem, Lehigh Valley, Poconos, Berks County, Lancaster County, uh, pretty much all of Montgomery County, Bucks County, Chester. Your threat is over. You're looking down the shore at uh, this Ocean City. Where's this? Oh, Margate. Uh, your threat is not over. Your threat has yet to come, and your threat's going to be, if you're watching us anywhere down the shore, your threat is within 745, 736 now, depending on where you are. Uh, so let's say 745 up to the north through about 830 in our southern areas down here. So here's a track for you. Millville, 734. Stafford, 749. I'm giving you the times that this severe thunderstorm line will likely approach your doorstep. And so you have a little bit of time in Millville. You practically have no time at all. It's now, essentially. Um, Egg Harbor, 801. Atlantic City, 812. Wildwood at 823. What can you expect? You can expect winds to kick up. They're already gusty out there. You know that. We were telling you about that all day long. Uh, that's a severe thunderstorm warning with tornado possible. Hail 1.25 inch in diameter. And that's this down to the south into Kent and Sussex County there. Um, you're going to win 60 to 70 miles per hour maybe stronger in some localized areas. We did have a report today uh, of a 98 mile per hour wind gust down in Sussex County. Now that was likely because of a tornado. There was a tornado on the ground. It was con you know, confirmed from, a, from somebody who saw it, not confirmed from the National Weather Service. And a, an actual measurement of 98 miles per hour from a weather, uh, a weather station that, that was down there. 
Um, fear, whenever I hear that beep, that little beep, that means the word tornado is in here. So I want to look at it and make sure it's not a new warning. That is the severe thunderstorm warning that is approaching Atlantic City. 70 mile per hour winds, Atlanta County, Burlington, Camden, Gloucester County, uh, etc. Uh, so these are the, the times for you. Um, you're going to get the strong winds, you're going to get heavy rain, you're going to get a lot of lightning with this. Uh, and then after that moves through, it's going to be a time period, by the way, and I haven't done this yet. I like to do this uh, as well. It's going to be a time period of roughly, if I do uh, what I call a reverse sample, where I take my distance tool and I go back. Let me change this here real quick. Um, let's go to ETA, uh, distance ETA. It's going to be a period, go backward, of about um, 15 to 20 minutes. I'll take this off screen. 15, 20 minutes of very active weather and then it will start to calm down. But there's going to be a 15 to 20 minute window there that things are uh, pretty rough. Now, in terms of some of the storm reports that have come down, we have winds that Andrew was talking about 60 miles per hour. We had um, where was that one here? New tornado warning. That was a little bit earlier. Several reports of trees into houses. This is in uh, Newark in northern Delaware. So that's obviously not good. Trees into houses. Reports of tree into house. There's another one uh, in Newark. We have a lot of outages in that area we're being told about. Uh, there's the Philadelphia 62 mile per hour wind. Severe, by the way, is 58 miles per hour. Let me put the track back on here for you so you could see. I'll put this down like this, cut it across. Uh, let's go like that. Um, we had. There was another report of trees down. It's, it's, it's back. I mean, it goes way back. Um, so here's a new continues the tornado warning for Monmouth and Ocean County. That's that one that's up here to the north that we talked about up near Tom's River. That is up until uh, 8 o'clock for that particular one. And here's a new storm report. Quarter size hail in Ewing from a train spotter. So hail, severe hail is certainly a uh, an, an issue with this as well as the lightning. Egg Harbor 801, Pleasantville 806, Atlantic City 815. Uh, what I what I could tell you with the storm line, it's traveling at a very consistent speed because every time we sample this, the cities that keep popping up on here are within a minute or two of one another, meaning that the storm is moving at the tracked rate that we put it on, which we've pegged at about 50 miles per hour. So you get this west to east movement at 50 miles per hour. And so you your time is dwindling for you folks that have not had the storms yet. By the time, say an hour from now, this should be for the most part out of our area. Maybe the tail end down here around Cape May, uh, we'll see some of that lingering. But that's going to be about it. And once we get past that, then we're going to get a bit of a lull. Let's go up and look at this uh, tornado warning again that it has extended out. And this one here, this one's actually, this is a new one. This is one that's south of Tom's River. So let's look at this brand new tornado warning that is in effect. Looking doesn't look like I see much rotation there. Woodland, that one's not super clear, but there is a tornado warning now that is in effect that does include just south of Tom's River, northern part here. We step out of the way of Long Beach Island. So love ladies, place that uh, I used to go in the summer all the time as a kid. The northern part there, the Barnegat Light, that's in this that's in this area as well. That's part of the warning. Then you go up to the north. I mentioned uh, Seaside Heights in that area. Another place I used to go as a kid a lot of time. I haven't been there in a long time. We'll get there in the summer. All right. So there's a tornado warning that's issued for this part of our area as well. Back to the severe thunderstorm uh, warning itself and the overall picture. We are still from the Storm Prediction Center in that enhanced risk. I mean, this is a big deal. You probably heard on the national news. You certainly heard if you watched us last night or Tammy this morning um, talking about the major impact that this has had in the Midwest and the South in the in the form of tornadoes, dozens and dozens and dozens of tornadoes. I mean, large tornadoes and large hail, hail three inches in diameter, you know, baseball size, teacup size hail, huge hail. This is that same system. This is the tail end of that system that is working through our area right now. And as we look at this camera, this is an interesting viewpoint. We're looking from our library cam. We're looking to the east or we're looking to the west rather. And you see the Vine Street Expressway, the cars that are moving. You're looking to West Philly, that direction, and the skies are starting to break. Where it was dark as night, now you see that the sun has been down. The sun is down now, but there's still a lot of daylight there, and that's that clearing that I'm talking about in and around our area from the west to the east. We are, we are clearing things out, but we are not done yet. We still have that line of severe storms moving through New Jersey. Hopefully, Andrew, we can, we can get away with, you know, not 
a ton of tornado warnings that will continue to be issued. We're watching it. it it's a, to me, this is obviously a much bigger straight line wind event than yeah. it is a tornadic event. But those winds, we're talking 70 miles per hour. And that's like I say, yeah, rotation does a different type of damage. But when you have a 70 mile an hour wind, I mean, that's it's incredible, right? Yeah, I, I mean, listen, and, and then not only that, but we also had some rain this morning. That loosens up the soil and everything else, and that could cause those trees down, power lines. Now, I am getting some reports from Williamstown, New Jersey, that we have transformers uh, kind of being blown by frequent lightning striking. So I'm going to get some pictures out of that. Uh, what you need to do if you're in central New Jersey over toward the Jersey Shore, know your safe place. I'm going to go over that in a second. Set up alerts. Make sure your devices are charged. You want to make sure that you uh, make sure that you have a place to go. Go. And I'm going to go over that here in just a second. Kate May right now, uh, that has uh, that camera just went out. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to take a look at that again. I just had that up a couple of minutes ago. Now we have that on this on this end of that. I will tell you this. It's uh, really going to start to darken up as we head toward Cape May within the next 20, 30 minutes. We're going to start to see a lot of that across the Jersey Shore. Speaking of New Jersey and power outages, by the way, we're down to 16,000 in uh, in Pennsylvania, that's down from 17,500 about 20 minutes ago. But in New Jersey, we're now up to 15,000 people without power in central and southern New Jersey. I'm expecting that number to rise. Let's go back and take a look at a couple of things now. What you need to do if you're underneath one of these tornado warnings. Again, Philadelphia, you are in the clear. The northern end of the city did have a tornado warning a little earlier. You are in the clear. We can stand down now. But as you know, we don't just cover Philadelphia. We cover a lot of area across the Delco or Delaware Valley, including, of course, the Jersey Shore. If you have a tornado warning issued, you need to go to the basement, the lowest part of your house. Protect your head, crouch down. That's the biggest, most important thing you can do. If you don't have a basement, an interior closet or a bathroom, you want to avoid any open areas, debris, things like that could fly right through windows. That's the biggest cause of death incidents, injuries. Meantime, when everything is done, especially for those areas in New Jersey with that lightning right now, you want to make sure to stay away from power lines, sharp to be uh, debris trees. Let experts, let the professionals go and clear things out uh, once that's all done. By eight o'clock, we're going to be looking at the leading edge of all of this moving away and around the Jersey Shore and then out to sea. We'll be left with some lingering showers through about nine o'clock and then believe it or not, colder air starts filtering in tonight and into the day on Sunday. So we are done here at 745. We will be done with this within the next hour to hour and a half. There's Philadelphia right now as we take a look at the rain, the lightning in the distance. Bill, I'm going to keep an eye on those power outages. I'm also going to keep an eye on any wind reports because I think especially as we get closer now to the eight o'clock hour, this is going to be more of a straight line wind issue than it is a tornado issue. So we're going to keep ahead of that. And of course, remember, we appreciate you guys watching us here. Final Four Basketball on CW57. We are here to keep you prepared prepared, not scared. It's our obligation when we have severe weather like this, especially with tornado worn storms. Uh, we've had over 55 bill tornadoes across eight states all within the last 24 hours. So this is part of a very big dynamic system. Absolutely. And, and you're exactly right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to step aside now for you folks. Uh, thank you for you know watching. We're going to put the game back on here now. If we get a tornado warning, we'll do the same thing. Uh, but we are going to be streaming. So CBSNewsPhiladelphia.com, we'll go back to that. It will be covering it. This has been a severe weather alert here on CBS3. From CBS News Philadelphia, this is a next weather storm alert update.